Hi guys, this is Tanya from 4Girls. I decided to film this today. It's a little tree of life. A um, little weird tree of life, I can say, but no beads, only copper. I used 24 gauge wire. You can use any kind of wire you want for your base. And I will show you how I do step by step. We will need 24 gauge wire for this, for making those little branches. Let's start it. I cleaned my desk again, so that was nine inches long. Like I said, you can use any kind of thick wire you have. You can use 18, 16, whatever you're comfortable to work with. And each time you can make different uh, shape, different, um, more teardrop, elongated, whatever, how you want any, any shape. I feel it will be nice with this. Any size, right? So I use mandrel. Find your, um, middle. And it could be elongated. You can lock your shape by hammering. And I want to put them okay. You can make your bail very long, or you can make sore. That's how much wire you have. If you have more wire, you can make it really elongated one. I probably will do in this case because I have, I don't want to cut any wire. I will just use my torch because here I use the torch to in both of them. So let me use my torch. it you can have cold water right next to you and put it in the cold water I will just leave it on the block to cool it and um, meanwhile I want to prepare my wires I showed in the previous video how to make them you can watch the video with the earrings but any any little scrap wire that I have, I usually uh, put it in, I separate them by the length. So let's see this one, how long they are. These, these are two inches long. And depends how thick your tree you want it to, because we will use it, we will make 
the top and the, from the bottom too and then we will actually interlock them together in the middle and we will use a little wire like 26 gauge to connect between those two parts a little bit not a lot but it will interlock them together so let's see this one is ready to proceed um, and we have those for our little branches okay i will use 26 gauge wire Just uh, end it. Cut. Make sure nothing sharp. And and let's start weaving. You can use the. I always use the same weaving on all my jewelry. You know you're familiar with that so you can also check the simple earrings my first video i did it very 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 slow there so it's the same i like this one it's sort of my signature now i use in all my pieces i never use any other weaving except this one uh, because it's from both sides it's the same and i like that I like that it can be right and left side exactly the same or front and back right <laughs> okay so take your time i try to quickly do it don't rush let me finish it and come back so I finished. Now you can use your bell maker plier and how it's supposed to go let's see okay now we have to just attach from both sides i will probably push it a little lower because later we need to put the jump rings jump ring in that thing so I might put a little lower just to make sure that will be enough for the jump ring later to fix okay so now I attach on one side a few wraps two three to the top push your wires and uh, go on the other side and secure the other end three four can go back in the hole there gently and uh, wire wrap there when you tarnish everything looks nice
could be very easy finished. Hide the wires, you know. Or you can just hide it here. Take your time. I don't want to take all my time on the camera. So anyhow, you want it to finish. Just finish so won't catch any clothing. I see it where it is. It's right here. Push it there. Perfect. Okay, now we have our base for for our little crazy tree. So what we need, you can hammer it more also if you, now when you have the frame, you can also make it just play a little bit so it will sit nicely on your neck. You can uh, flatten the, the surface. You can, because some of them sometimes, like this one, I really flatten. I flat a lot, I hammer a lot. So you can also make it more flat on the bottom I didn't touch those on top didn't hammer them in both both trees that I did uh, okay now we need that also depends uh, how big your tree you want to make uh, I I don't even remember how many I use but let's see it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it was, yeah, it was more than ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Like fourteen. 15 let's do 15 these are uh, we measure right it was two inches long uh, almost two inches long you know some of them two some of them less so you have to remember the wire has to be much much longer to in in order to create these because it will probably take additional, I'm pretty sure that we'll need definitely like three inches maybe of the wire. Uh, let's use pliers, round nose pliers. So we have one. Push them a little bit and put your other wire here. And just like creating the broomstick earrings, you do need jump ring. you have to squish it sometimes in order to push it your jump ring through oops ah gosh it's getting okay now okay so that will be a first thing. Okay. For the top. And now we need at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
put the bottom. We can also secure right now our, uh, I need, I will be right back because I need something to poke a little hole. Let me come back. Okay. So make it a little to anchor your jump ring there. Sometimes it doesn't want to go through. Let's see. That should be enough. A little fiddly, but Actually close to okay so what we have we have this doesn't look yet like that but it will soon so we have also 10 we just go around the frame to the top it will create that sort of roots and now we want to interlock them together so try to open some of the and put them together because we want to all of them interlock in each other like this looks like a big mess right now and you decide what is your front my front will be probably here because I like the jump rings here so when you decide what is your front then you mostly like play to make them sit on the front how you want them to sit. your mallet and jump in. It's already forming a little bit this tree-ish effect. Take your time, you know, try to interlock more 
than I did, but when you start hammering, the wires will be more tough. You can do from both sides. And eventually it will be like one piece of metal. But I still like to secure with a little thin wire someplace, you know, like a, even if you use a little bit, it will still make a big effect, you know, because you will make sure that they will stick together, bottom and the top. Also, you can hammer them more, like in not only rubber mallet, you can use your hammer and just be more forceful. running I don't have a let's see I have 24 gauge wire here I can use 24 to locking them together let's let me take a little piece of wire and we almost done with the project You can use your owl to see the spaces to create some like little spaces between top and bottom then later you can hammer again just to make sure that they all together stick together I'll just put some stitches in the piece when you um, when you put in a little bit of sulfur, you will not notice these little details there, but you will know that it's all stick together. And just some stitches. You guys want to do this is more unisex project I feel I feel like the guys can also wear if you make it very simple um, also if you don't like beads because not everybody like jump uh, gemstones so some people really like metal and you can use it for you if you like only copper only metal or you can make it if for somebody if you sell stuff i feel like that will be nice project to do for your craft shows and make a nice way to secure those if you want you can also tie that to the base there's nothing wrong with that this one is very organic it's just organic pendant I use right now I'm using 24 gauge but usually um, in the other those two I use thinner I use like 26 whatever wires you have this will work okay. 
feel like it's almost almost perfect it doesn't need too many stitches but you can see where I stitched like all of those little And it somewhere here. So you really want to add, go around these guys. You can go, maybe more stick to the frame. Okay done oh, it's break but you know what it's okay you can okay and now you can still play with your um making the shape still if you want to just twist before you final lock the piece you can make the correction, you can make little organic twists, how the trees usually are, there is no perfection in the nature. And then lock. Don't use the big the hammer. This one, use just a rubber mount. If you use 26 gauge for locking, that's better to be gentle with, the, with your piece. That's it, and we create a nice, beautiful pendant. You can, guys, make longer this piece. You can, you can make it more rounded. You can hammer more or less. Uh, the problem is only that sometimes seeds could be interfering with your chain. So be uh, when you see something, maybe use different chains so it's will not because it still have the little pieces. But hammer nicely, uh, just so it will not be separating right from each other. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you can make something beautiful um, with just the copper. It's just only copper. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.